All right, uh, welcome. Good evening, good night, <laughs> wherever you are. Uh, to let's say episode five, I guess, of uh, how is it going with EV? Um, so yeah, first of all, as you might hear, uh, I got a new mic. So this microphone is the Yeti something something. It's huge, but uh, freaking amazing. So no more weird uh, um, mic uh, uh, noise. So yeah, uh, let's check what's new in EV so far. Uh, first of all, I haven't uh, I haven't really used 2.8 that much. I've been kind of waiting to get to get this microphone. So uh, so I don't make more movies uh, or videos with the, like that weird humming noise. And uh, also been like doing some concept painting and uh, part of that concept painting I'm doing I'm gonna make a lot of like li really rough early 3D models and uh, of course I'm gonna do with I'm gonna go the PBR uh, road I was thinking of buying substance painter but I might just ho wait a minute with that so uh, but but uh, what I meant with that is uh, I'm guessing I'm gonna actually do all the modeling and stuff in uh, 2.78 and then I'm gonna switch for 2.8 to set up the materials and like uh, just check out the, uh, how, they, how they look in the viewport and um, then switch back to 2.78 I guess to export them so Anyway, I'm probably gonna make a video about how how that go, gone or <laughs> gonna go. Um, so yeah, but uh, let's check out what's new here. We have a new light probe, uh, reflection plane. So uh, yes, hide that. Um, I'm gonna scale it up. And as you can see, there's a lot of like sea sorting fighting. But if we move it slightly above the ground plane, uh, could probably move it. Uh, probably just just above is good for the, the reflection. So we can hide the data now. So there's a tiny tiny bit of. Um, uh, plain ref planar reflection here, but um, I'm gonna move this to the side. I actually prepared a little bit to this video uh, because I had to reshoot it a couple of times. Uh, with the microphone, I have um, first of all you have like 360 degree, like you can record stereo and stuff like that. Uh, but uh, you hear I have a mechanical keyboard and you kind of hear all the clickety clack going on. So I'm testing another recording version where it's not stereo. So you shouldn't hear me in the left speaker now. <laughs> but uh, it should ignore the sound coming from uh, at the back of the microphone. So I have this kind of weird setup where I have keyboard and Wacom uh, in front of me and then this microphone in between so it's kind of awkward to talk but anyway back to planar reflection with the black floor uh, it turned up so we can make it smoother so we see it more um, so yeah look at this it's going in real time really smooth no need to like recalculate anything as with um, a reflection probe or light probe, the spherical one. So it looks good actually. Uh, not that many. So yeah, now we, now you can see the this large one is from the uh, this one the 
I can select it now. The 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 tiny reflection sphere we have. So if I make this bigger again and increase the distance, it should actually have taken uh, over the influence. Crap. Why won't it work now? I'm guessing this is a bug. Because now it doesn't seem to use the planar reflection at all. Okay, I'm gonna delete this one for now. Hmm. Seems like I broke it there. It was working. Hmm. Ah, anyway, maybe that's a sign. Uh, let's check out the other feature, the ambient occlusion. So I can probably delete that one. Uh, I'm just gonna take off bloom effect because it was really annoying. So, but the monkey is gonna be used. Uh, so, first of all, turn on ambient occlusion. Uh, it, uh, let's see if it says something about that. Hmm. So you can see the difference if I turn down the factor, especially on the like the metallic ones. They look like really unrealistic when they are uh, uh, this like brightly reflective beneath. Uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, that scene with the table I had like in uh, in like for in the first video or maybe the second video. Um, uh, it was super clear like between cycles and EV that EV m looked more unrealistic because uh, it, it didn't have this um, like this uh, uh, partly like the reflection but also uh, I guess ambient occlusion or sh self shadowing so anyway with ambient occlusion you can see it looks way better uh, and I guess it's like geometry based so if something is closer should also darken and yeah you can see it there a tiny bit maybe if I increase the distance um, but I guess it's it it was called something else GA uh, something with ground so probably uh, world up like the z-axis so it, it's not just like uh, geometry Geometry base. It should also be uh, more in the um, in the bottom, closer to the uh, ground. Uh, so yeah, that's ambient occlusion. Um, I got a tweet from Daniel uh, with the roadmap, so that was helpful. Thank you. I've been looking for this one, trying to Google it, uh, couldn't find it, so I had to check up check out your tweet so thanks again uh, this is kind of nice here we have the like roadmap and we are in week three of june so ground truth ambient occlusion a draw manager cache discarding have no idea what that is runtime data refresh uh either no <laughs> no idea could uh, i don't want to speculate but uh next week we're gonna get, oh no, may, uh, <laughs> this week actually, week four started today. So we're gonna have uh, fog, that's gonna be cool. Bloom color, also fi finishing fixing bloom here. 
And uh, Soft Shadow. Soft Shadow is probably going to be uh, one of the effects that's going to look the best of these three, I guess. <coughs> Bloom is kind of okay. Um, I have a ID or like a, maybe not an ID, but uh, something I've been thinking about with the, uh, Bloom. So uh, I'm going to add a cube here. Uh, give it um, a material with an emissive color. So it's just focusing on the uh, emission of objects. Okay, that color was maybe... Uh, why it's... Um, oh, maybe it's... I don't know. I was thinking why it's like getting so desaturated, but I, I realized, or probably is it because I have filmic? Maybe a bit. Uh, anyway, it doesn't matter. So um, with this material that is like uh, only okay. Um, now it looks more like what I was imagine uh, this color as emissive should be. So. Uh, Think of this as like a lamp or something. It doesn't really look like that. Uh, it looks more like shadeless or something uh, in the old Blender internal days. Um, so uh, to get something to look more like um, uh, a lamp or a missive in uh, real time is to have something more like this. Uh, you can see around these lights you have this bloom kind of effect. So let's turn on bloom. and like uh, 0 0.7 intensity and I'm gonna hide the monkey because it's it's too damn shiny so but uh, focus at these two spheres so uh, okay why doesn't why doesn't this give off any bloom Okay. Hardly any at all. Hmm. Uh, but anyways, now it started to look better or more like emissive. Is it the threshold? Oh yeah, maybe. So if you if you look at only at this one, uh, the cube. That looks more like uh, something that's emissive in real time. It has this like blue bloom around, but um, compared to all the other stuff in the scene now, that's get way overblown by the lights. So it doesn't really look uh, emissive anymore compared to anything else. It looks more like you have a, a greasy lens on a com camera or something. Uh, so it would be kind of cool somehow if we could set like the threshold for everything and maybe the intensity so like uh, maybe intensity 1 0 0.1 okay 0 0.2 let's say that's good enough for the like scene to not over blow out of bloom then the knee, yeah, the knee is more like um, the spread, so we can lower that also. So you have something like this subtle for everything, but then you would, I would kind of want to have something that override uh, emissive. So emissive gets something more like this. Um, that's really like uh, extreme, just because it's a um, uh, emissive shader. They have something similar in uh, Unreal where you can uh, set the bloom intensity for emissive influence so instead of this they actually have the opposite problem they have like it's way overblown uh, and they then it, they turn it down for the emissive so anyway I was just thinking about bloom color also finishing bloom uh, this week if uh, maybe that's something 
that could be like considered or looked into. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I guess that's it. We don't have any more to talk about. Uh, I'm gonna make another video and try to make another scene also. I just haven't had time. I got a scanner today. So I've been scanning film film negatives. Which is uh, not that fun to do. <laughs> but fun to see the result. Uh, but as I said I'm gonna do some concept uh, art thingy. So and from from my concept art I'm gonna do a couple of models. And I'm gonna try to use EV uh, and Blender 2.8 as much as I can in the pro pro process. So maybe in the next video I have some uh, different scene to show. And we should be in July by then. So transparency finally and refraction. So we're gonna probably see uh, with these two we're probably gonna see like really nice looking glass kind of uh, material and also I guess water and stuff like that. Screen space reflections, woohoo! So uh, we had that the whole that thing, f uh, no not unreal, okay it looked kind of cool but that paper from DICE, is it gone? Mm. Let's see if I can. Yeah, I guess it was this one, yeah. That there was a like a really nice looking image somewhere. Oh, Jesus Christ, sorry for flipping through. Anyway, I don't know. I think I showed it in another video where it was like um, a scene from... Uh, I, for, uh, I forgot the name of the game with the girl that's like in some authoritarian future state and does parkour and stuff. Um, Anyway, it was like a scene, uh, a image with um, only direct lighting, and then they turned on all like uh, screen space reflection. Ah, anyway, so uh, next video probably transparency and ref ref refraction. That's gonna be cool. Uh, so yeah, take care. Bye.